Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We had a question on one of our videos and somebody was asking if you could add a floating WhatsApp button to your website. And simple answer is yeah, it's really easy. I don't personally use WhatsApp, but I know of it. And so I was able to put this together and I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy to do. There's no coding involved with this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. As you can see, I've got one here. If I click on it, it's going to take us to the WhatsApp page. I don't have an account, but if you have an account, I'll show you how to get it to take you to your account. Let's just close that page out there. Okay, let's enable the Visual Builder and get started. All right, I'm going to delete what we've got here. And we'll start from scratch. I'm going to go down. I'm just going to add a new module. It really doesn't matter where you add this new module. Dark little button to add a new module. Because we're going to be using fixed positioning, it's not going to stay where you actually build it. I'm actually going to use an icon module today because they've just upgraded using the font awesome. So we should be able to find a WhatsApp icon there. There's the new icon module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll give you an extra dozen or so also. Great, so let's grab an icon. I'm going to just do a search. What's? There it is. There's two examples. Let's grab this one. And there it is right there. Okay. I want to put a link in there. Now to link to your account, you want to go to WhatsApp. So in the icon link here, you want to put your WhatsApp. That takes you to WhatsApp, wa.me. Then for your personal account, when you've signed up for WhatsApp, put a forward slash and you're going to need to put your phone number in there. Now if you're in America, put a one country code in front of it. If you're in the UK, you'd need to put a 44 in front of it etc. So put your country code in, then your number, and you should be good to go. Icon link target, as we're going off site to somebody else's site, you want to open it in a new tab so your site stays open. Great, well that's the link bit sorted out. Let's go over and make this icon look like we want it. So I've gone over to the design tab, I'm going to go to the icon, icon color, I'm going to make mine the same color as the WhatsApp so people will recognize it. There's their sort of green they use there. I've got a free chrome color picker. I'm just going to grab that color. And let's make it that color. So I'm going to click on the color that's there already. I'm simply going to paste that hex code right there. Great. We've got it the color we want, but it's a little large. So let's take it down in size. Similar, I've got a, a switcher down here we did in a, a previous video that'll switch to dark mode. So I'm going to make it a similar size to that. Once it's the size you want it, let's put it where we want it. And for me, I'm going to put it up on the right hand side here. So let's roll over to the advanced tab going to go down to position and I'm going to flip it from default to fixed and when I do this it'll disappear but it's not actually disappeared it's just up here on the right hand side or actually up here on the left hand side so once you put it in fixed position you've got a little matrix here top left top right if I just click on them middle left bottom left middle bottom etc I'm sure you get the idea I want mine on kind of the top right and the reason we can't see it is it's up under our menu right here so if we roll down just a little bit more we've got some vertical offset where we can bring it down to where we want it I think I want mine about there but I want to take it out from the edge just a little bit perhaps so it's more in line with our little switcher down there so you've got horizontal offset here just roll that out until it's about where you want it. Yeah, that's fine. You can type in a value, you can increment up and down. Let's leave that at about 30. 
Great, so we've got it up there. We've added the link. Let's see what it looks like on the front end. So I'm going to save my changes. Save my page changes here. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there it is on our right hand side here. Let's roll down the page. And as you see, as we're scrolling down the site, it stays exactly where it is. And this should be responsive. It should work on tablet and mobile as well. I'm using Google Chrome here. So let's check it out. I've got the great inspector tools. I'm going to hit F12. I'm going to switch it to mobile view. There we've got an iPad. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it. There's our little app there. Okay, I'm going to drop it down a few more picks because it's still slightly under the menu on the iPad. Let's have a look on our, on our phone. Yeah, again, we just need to drop it down by about 20 picks or so, and it should work perfectly. So let's get out of here. Let's enable our Visual Builder again. And let's get back into the module. Now I'm okay with this one. Sometimes when you use fixed positioning and put these things in strange places, you'll have a hard time getting to the actual module to get in there. Like I say, we're okay with this one. If you do have a hard time, simply hit the little purple button down here and switch to wireframe mode. It's a little icon on the left down there. And that'll take us to back end mode, sort of old fashioned way of doing things. And you can just go into your icon that way once you're in there flip back to whatever view you like to look at okay and I actually just wanted to put it down a few pixels more so let's offset it vertically a little bit more that should do it right there now let's save and we should be good to go save the page changes exit the visual builder Well, firstly, we want to make sure it's going to work. Make sure it's still scrolling up and down there. That's fine. Fixed position. Click on it. It should open a new tab. And there it is. Like I say, I haven't got a real account, so that's not my account. But if you put your real number in there, you'll continue and chat. So that's working fine. Let's just check our responsiveness. Again, F12. That's much better on the mobile. And obviously, you can micro adjust it however you want. Let's just check on the iPad or a tablet. Yeah, that works absolutely fine. Back to desktop mode. Close the inspector. So there you go, guys. I hope that's answered your question. Really easy to do to add a floating WhatsApp icon to your website. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.